Hey everyone, RSKOS here, and welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Last time, we ended up exploring Rogue Port to find all of the star pieces and shine spots that we could between here and going back to Petal Meadows just to get the ones we could have got earlier in the game, but I opted to hold off on. And we also learned that our next crystal star is located in some place called Twilight Town. This time, we are going to be completely ignoring that main objective and doing the side stuff at the Trouble Center. Yeah, I don't expect to make port story progress this time. I don't think there's that many stuff added. I might be wrong, but I don't really expect to make story progress. Oh, wow, there's only three things added. Ah, okay. I think both the... Well, hmm. Oh, I remember this one. I remember this one. Ugh, I hate that one. Okay, I'm gonna do that one on the side while I'm there. But we're gonna get this one from Jolene. I need some... Cl oh, wait. I need some cleaning done. Motivated workers only. Please meet me in the glitz pit. Want to take on Jolene's trouble? Sure thing. Do it and do it right. And there's also this other one. We'll see this one. Unfortunately, I can't get two quests at the same time, which is, I'm not gonna lie, questionable game design. But I will let you know that one will be taking us to Glitz Pit, and I need to get two items from the Glitz Pit while I'm there, just so I'm not running around all over the place. Ugh. The one from Jolene is fine. The one from Bobo over there. Oh man, that one's burned into my memory. We're, we're getting that one out of the way. But before I even go any further, what are my items like? Oh. Okay, I was like, do I have a nearly full inventory? No, I have a nearly empty inventory. There. Probably get some more mushrooms. Uh, we are going to be going to Glitzville. Because that's where Jolene is. Do, 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 do. I will. I will just meet y'all in Glitzville. And here we are in Glitzville. So we need to go talk with Jolene back in the uh, back end of Glitzville. Which is weird. Again, Glitzville so strikes me as incredibly small, yet it's also one of the most memorable chapters for me. It might be because it's so small that you just see it over and over, but it doesn't... Wait, somehow this chapter 3 never felt repetitive, even though it was literally just fights. But before we go to Jolene, I'm gonna talk to you here, and I'm going to get two hot dogs. They're extremely cheap. How good are these anyway? Uh, 5 HP, 5. Ooh. Yeah, if they're that cheap, I think I might. Why not? I, I'm rolling in it. Okay, now we have. Five hot dogs. You only actually need two, but I'm just gonna take the other three for the road. And now, let's go talk to Miss Jolene. The hot dogs are not for her trouble side quest, they're for another one. Do, 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 do. You should now let us back. Also, if you're wondering why, after the end of chapter three, I was confused and thought I could go back here, yeah, you have to accept this trouble first. You're the ex-champ, right? Yeah, the great Gonzalez. I don't know if you know this, but Miss Jolene is the fight promoter now. If you have business with her, head on down the hallway to the promoter's office, okay? Oh, are you planning your comeback? Because that would be so awesome. And now they let us in, now that we've accepted the uh, trouble quest. I, I know, it's weird. So we need to go talk all the way down here with Miss Jolene. Who's now the head of the Glitz Pet. What's that? You need to talk to Miss Jolene? Go on in, she's waiting. Yes, yes, who is it? It's customary to knock before entering. Why does everyone who gets in this who gets this office have a problem with that? 
Uh, why, it's the Great Gonzalez. It's been too long. How have you been? It has been... Okay, it's actually been a week in real time. But still, I must tell you, we've seen a big drop-off in attendance since you returned to the belt. I was a touch worried. Our financials didn't look too good for a while, but luckily, Rockhawk has made a dramatic comeback and is regain Re regaining... Blah, blah, blah. Reigning supreme again. Yes, it's been a whirlwind of activity every day since I became a promoter. Wait just a moment. Are you back to fight? Great Gonzalez's return? You must be, right? Yes, yes, you must be. Come on, tell me it's true. What? You want to unretire and battle again? Ah ha ha ha! I always knew this day would come. I am sounding more like a robot now. <laughs> I, I'm getting too into the voice and sound like a robot. Let me find your old registration so we can... Huh? Oh, ouch. I'm so sorry. But all of our records of you seem to be gone. So our only option, sadly, is to start you in the minor leagues again. Sorry. I don't think I've ever t done the Jolene voice so long. The more I do it, the more I realize it's just a robot voice. Sorry, but rules are rules. We can't bend them, even for an ex-champ. I'll just go ahead and put you on as a minor league fighter again, then. When you want to fight, you know the deal. Use the locker room communicator. I will not be going over the arena rules again, of course. Bye for now. And with that, technically, yeah, we could, if we want, we can fight all the way back to the Glitz Pit and re-challenge Rock Hawk. I... And I admit, I have never done this. I don't think you get anything for it. I'll look it up and let y'all know next episode if there's actually any point in re-challenging the Glitz Pit. But as far as at least I know, the only thing you get is access to the championship again, which basically means access to an area where you can completely refill your star power. Which, I mean, can be useful, but honestly, if you're conservative with it like I am, then you never really run out. But that's not what we're here for. You accepted that request? Well, fantastic. Let's get down to business. I need you to clear out the garbage in the storeroom. I can't get anywhere near it. I have a problem with garbage. I don't talk about it. Just put it somewhere I can't see it, alright? Back to the creepy storeroom that's uh, hopefully significantly less creepy. Please be less creepy. Whoa, it's less creepy, but a whole lot dirtier. Battle trunks. Trunks some wrestler wore to tatters. Boy, they stink. And yes, there's flies in the room. Thankfully, this only does not take up your normal item slot. That would be terrible. It takes up your important things slot. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. And they are every freaking where. Get it? Every freaking where under where. Yeah, this is gross. Uh, I don't think there's any in the side room over here. I can check real quick. Uh, no, there, they would have been right here if there were any in here. So, back up. And that's all the battle trunks. I'm curious about something. Can I... Can I, like, listen in on Jolene from up here? I've never tried this. Oop, oop. I mean, I could spy on her. I don't think anything happens. Aw, that would have been a great place to hide an Easter egg. Oh, well. Guess all that CD business is over. Let's, uh, let's go talk to her with our... Where the heck did Mario put all this underwear? This dirty underwear, I might add. Um, that's not the question of these things. Oh, Jolene, I heard you have a problem with trash. I got you some trash. You smell terrible. Oh, no, you don't still have that garbage on you, do you? You have to take that stuff up far away from here. I can't stand it. I know of a Goomba named Goomfree in Redport that buys stuff like that. I've already gotten in touch with him, so just get that trash out of here. Okay, let's, uh... 
Let's go all the way back to Rogueport. I believe our business is done here, but... If you are going out for all the Trouble Center side quests like I am, make sure you bought at least two of those hot dogs. Trust me, it's gonna save you a lot of sanity later. Meet you back in Rogueport. Back in Rogueport, we are looking for a Goomba named Goomfri, who will apparently buy the dirty trunks from us. I wonder if she can cook a hot dog. I'm, mm, I'm gonna leave that be. I do wonder if she can make a hot dog. I doubt she can use it as an ingredient, though. That'd be cool, though. Uh, you're the one I want, right? Yeah, I spoke to Jolene. Now, who was it that she wanted taken care of? Not who? What, you say? Well, fine, let's get it done. So, what are we doing here? Here you go. Still some left? Whoops, I meant to give him more. Really, some left? Really, some left? Really, some left? Really, some left? Really, some... Oh, my God. Mash the... Mash the ever-living crap out of A. That is how you do the side quest. Oh, my God. Guys, never let your house get as dirty as Jolene. Let her storeroom get... Albeit, that probably wasn't Jolene. That was probably Grubba. I'm, I'm just gonna blame Grubba because I like Jolene as a character. I guess we're done with this one. Man, I I have never had a job this stinky. Make sure you get duress pay for this, man. And, yeah, back to Glitch Pit. Back in the Glitch Pit, we can turn in the Cyclist Jolene. Yeah, this one is, a. Uh, mm, yeah. You had to go all the way back to the Glitz Pit to turn the quest in. This is another reason I told you to get those hot dogs now, because as you can probably guess, we would have to come back here again for them. Trust me, you don't want to have to come here multiple times. You've cleared it all up. Here, well, here's your reward. You have my gratitude. 30 coins! Well, I won't be getting the smell out of that room anytime soon. Solve the trouble! Back to Petalburg. Petalburg. What the heck? Back to Rogueport, not Petalburg. But while we're here, and since I forgot to uh, show it off while I go, we're gonna save. No, that's not what I'm showing off. Wow, it took a minute there. That's just. I'm curious. Let's talk to some uh, old friends here. Uh, my house is. Actually, I could use the F pace. I'm actually gonna take a rest. Don't mind me, King K, just sleeping in a bed. What's up, dog? Good seeing you again, finally, man. For real. Me, I unretired. Oh my, oh my god, I just noticed. Mario's nose is clipping through King K's face, mouth, nose. Unclear. Let's rock this joint. Did that happen? Gonzalez is, Gonzalez is back. Bum! It's an honor to bomb fight in the same arena again. Yeah. Mustache better than Kleptor when Kleptor was Mustache's age. Uh, and how you doing, Bainy Andy? You're the only one who got the bad end of uh, Grabba's lot. Hey, how are you, Gonzalez? You're looking pretty good. Glad to see it. They don't have much to say. Uh, let me... Well... I'm about to let me know if y'all want me to actually go to the Glitz Pit, but honestly, I'm gonna look that up and get back to y'all next episode to see if there's actually anything worth doing from that. I am saying this is 100% Let's Play. You know, star pieces and shine and all that. I have no clue if I'm actually gonna include the revisit of the Glitz Pit in that, though, just because unless you get something good from it, it may not be worth it. And I should point out, I'm not really going for 100% badges in this game. I've never really mentioned that until now, but we're not really going for 100% badges just because you can't, really. You can technically get one of every badge, but some badges are infinite. So, I'm not really going to worry about the badges too much. Back to Rogueport. One thing I hate about the Glitz Pit is that you have to go through this long cutscene every single time. I mean, you can technically smash A to skip it, but... Help me go back to Trouble Center. 
It is taking like 20 minutes to get that one trouble center quest done. Ugh. Maybe the other two will go by fast. A heartful cake recipe. I want to make a heartful cake, but forgot the recipe for Mario's sake. I have to keep my shop open, so can you find the recipe? I'm hoping. I first learned the recipe from Twisty. Yes, over in Paddle. You see. Please meet me in the Charmer's Hut beneath Rogueport. Hurry, hut! Uh, sure. Do we do it right? I vaguely remember this one. We're getting to the point now where I actually remember some of the side quests just from the uh, practice run I did of this game. So, Merle is the person we- is the character we met last episode, who we could have met significantly earlier in the game. I forgot. Once more, I am sorry. But, uh, we met her now, yay! I haven't even got a chance to show off what buying her, a uh, special package or whatever thing was. Hi. Uh... Okay, I need to talk to her over here. I really must know how to bake a yummy, tasty, heartful cake. To Petalburg, you must go. Ask Toisty! All she knows. Who the heck is Toisty? Whatever, I'm y'all in Petalburg. Back in Petalburg, let's find Toisty. Are you Toisty? That's awkward. Speaking of awkward, how are you doing, Koopy Koo? I hope Koops is doing well. I'm awfully worried. Fine. Koops, I know you can do it. Prove yourself and then hurry home to me. Oh, God. Uh, Koops, you, you need to... I mean, like... She loves you. I'll, gi I'll give her that, but... She also is kind of creepy. You're a toys tea. Okay. Need something? What? You want to know how to make a heartful cake? God, that sounded more like... Like, Batman. Toad. <laughs> Instead of, like, cheerful, like, Swiss Alps toad. Who asked you, Merle? Let's see. I know you need cake mix and... Ruining powder. <laughs> I wonder who Merle is making it for this time. Cake mix and ruin powder. Let's go report this back to Merle. I know we can get cake mix. We can get that from the, uh... From the, uh... Pianta parlor in Rogueport. I'm not so sure about the ruin powder. Then again, we may not need to get all the ingredients. Meet all back at Merle. Back to Marley's place. Here, uh, here's what you need. So, did you find the recipe for the heartful cake for little old me? Ah, I remember now. That's right, of course, wow. Oh no, what shall I do? I have no cake mix, boo-hoo. And I can't leave my shop here. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That's a cheap rhyme! I hate to ask, but could you please bring me some cake mix? I'm on my knees. You're not. Do, do you even have knees under there? Anyway, uh, we can get some cake mix at the Pianta Parlor, so... To the Pianta Parlor! Away! Well, away after this transition anyway, because I am lazy and I don't want to edit in a transition, so I will use the game's transitions. Away! Here we are at the Pianta Parlor. Uh, how many tokens do we have and need again? Uh, return the two pianos up and hold for you, Mario. Oh, that's not gonna be enough. Is it? No, that is not. Um... I can try the slots real quick. I broke even. Actually, no, I got one extra, actually. Or two extra. I doubled my winnings. Okay, let's do the cheap way. Well, okay. I'll just pay for him then. Sure. I don't want to pay that many for just six. So I'm just gonna... Let's try this again. Okay. We got this again, so, uh, 
got a jacking six. That works, I guess. Whoops, uh, I'm on the counter. Cake mix. Thank you. I believe this is the only location in the game where you can buy cake mix. I want to say that's the case. Also, as you expect, this is a very good item for uh, taking to taste tea and have her cook up for you. So let's get this back down in the stores to Merrily, and then I guess we'll go ahead and finish off the final report quest, just because I know it won't take too much longer. We have your cake mix! Thank you, you're the best. You passed my trouble test. Cannot make a cake without cake mix, right? No doubt. As you, as you make a heartfelt cake, mix your rim powder well to make a cake mix properly bake. God, Merle, just stop talking. I'm going to make it tonight, and it will be out of sight. Then I'll charm someone right. Thanks so much to you, dear. Here's your reward. Here! My head hurts. You solved the trouble! Uh, why don't my own troubles? I mean, oh, well. You know, no, I'm not gonna cut this time. I've had to cut, like, probably 20 times this episode. Just because this is literally the most back and forth I think the quests have been so far. So, let's just go to the last one. I promise this next one, if I remember it properly, will not have us going back and forth to the moon and back. So... Well, I guess we'll do this last one and then end it off. And remember, you need two hot dogs for this one. It's kind of stupid. Bulbulber, the food I want. I have a bad craving for a certain food item. Would you fetch it for me? Please meet me in Puddleburg. Want to take on Bulbulber's blah 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 Bulbulber trouble? Yep, as I dropped the controller on the ground by accident. No! Yes. Do and do it right. Uh, one more cut. I already hate myself for the editing I have to do. See y'all in a minute. Luckily, it doesn't take out that long to get the pedal bird. So where the heck's Paul over? You're you're not here. You're you're in the other map. Okay, that's fair. I want to say I want to use it. Wait, are you the one I want? Nope, you're the wrong bow over. It's the other one. Also, uh, I should point out, these guys are technically a reference to the first Paper Mario. There, there was a level that you had to talk to a bunch of bow overs to get access to in the first Paper Mario. There's kind of a sly reference to that, but they're significantly less important in this game. Like, in fact, this is, this is basically it. <clears throat> Hello, and good day to you. I'm Bow over. You came here after hearing my request, correct? Ah, I'm so happy. I would like to ask you to bring me a hot dog. Yes, a hot dog is what I desire. It is said to be spicy, but I have never experienced spiciness in all my life. Some say that they are stored in Glitzville. Please get one for me if you can. Did you bring something for me? I have two, five of them. Oh, so this is a hot dog. I'm going to go right ahead and try it. One smack, blop. Oh, oh. Hot, hot, hot. So this is spicy. Well, this spiciness is quite interesting. It makes me crave more of it. I'm terribly sorry, but could you get me one more hot dog, please? I must have one. You are reading or hearing this right. This side quest would have you go to Petal Meadows, go back to Glitzville, get a hot dog, come all the way back to Petal Meadows, Go all the way back to Glitzville, get another hot dog, come all the way back to Paddle Meadows, and then the quest ends. I'm gonna call this side quest out. It's bad. Now, if you are prepared like I was, because God, I remember this one, it's just considerably more doable. But, I'm gonna call this one out. This is a bad side quest. Th there's backtracking, and then there's this. Oh, I'm so happy to be able to eat another hot dog. I've never dreamed of this. I said devour it immediately. Mine slurp glob. Oh, oh, hot, hot, hot. Spicy, spicy hotness. Now this, this is spicy. Oh my, that was positively delicious. 
Good gracious, I am sweating with pleasure. I accidentally, like, rubbed my chin on the mic by accident because I'm standing so close to it. I'm rather surprised that it was spicy, rather than just spicy. By the way, I know this is rather rude, but I'd love to chase that with a sweet. Sweets are the spice of life. That's my new theory I've just now coined. Did you... I forgot about this part. I forgot about this part. <laughs> I will meet y'all. I'm just gonna cook the cake mix. I'll meet y'all back here in, like, a few minutes. Not a bad FP item, huh? I swear that this hammer will be soaked in your blood if you ask me to go get another dang cake. Oh, did you bring something for me? This side quest subverts expectations of how much it, of how bad it is. I forgot there was a third item. I remembered it was bad, and I still forgot how bad. Ah. Again, if you know it's coming, you can prepare for it. Don't fall into the same trap I did, guys. Get two hot dogs and a cake. Munch not Oh, sweet. Good gracious, I am quite satisfied now. Thank you! But I feel like I've been demanding. Nintendo. If y'all ever remake Thousand Year Door, which I do hope for, maybe fix some of the, uh... Some of the more... Backtracky... Quest from the Trouble Center, please. This one in particular. Maybe tweak some of them so, you know, I don't want to tear my eyes out. Maybe I just want to be spoiled by others. I want to throw you in this river and hold you under. Well, because it's such a peaceful place, I crave peace, love, and food. I crave death. Yours. I'm sure that's it. Anyway, let me show you my gratitude. It gives us a dried bouquet. Beautiful flowers made by Bob Olber. Replenishes one HP. If you want more, just bring me another hot dog. Uh, okay, the reward for this quest is actually better than it sounds, admittedly. Although it seems real bad at first glance. Let me let's let's be honest here. Like one. Ooh. Right now, we have an item that only restores 1 HP, and he will give us that item infinitely as long as we bring him hot dogs. That we have to pay 10 f coins for in Glitzville. That sounds like a really bad deal, and it kind of is. The dried bouquet technically has a use. It's still not terribly worth it, though, and at the moment, it doesn't have any redeeming qualities at all, so... Mmm... I'm gonna end this episode here. Thank y'all for watching this episode of Care for Mario Thousand Year Door. That's all the Trouble Center Quest stuff. That's all the star pieces and shine sprites for the in-between chapter. Next time, we are going off to chapter four. One of my favorite and least favorite chapters combined into one. You'll learn quickly what I mean. Thank y'all for watching. I'm Renarz KOS, and I will see y'all next time. Take care. Bye!